We started this journey like three years ago. Precisely yesterday, we turned three years. We started in this corner over there with a quite small booth and addressed the topic of industrial IoT to our customers. And I can tell you it's been a very interesting journey. First, the people kind of laughed at us. They had question marks. Why using IoT in a machinery, in a plant? Yeah. But now, as you can see, we have grown to 850 square meters. We have nine customers in the lounge. We have a lot of partners. We have great packages. So you can really see that from an idea that we had a couple of years ago, it really turned into a great solution, great success, and it's just the starting point. Yeah, and it's, um, it's not just something where we talk about and have some vision. It's use cases. It's real challenges of our customers that we are working on and using the data. Exactly. And you can see it in the lounge. And you can basically see it also here on the ground floor of the Siemens booth. It's everywhere. So you have not only the connectivity and some great ideas, you can really you know, get your own idea about how to turn data into real value. You even mentioned that on ground floor we have exhibits which actually are running. They are in action and they produce data. Exactly. So, and data is everywhere and we know that we have our phones, we have all our stuff, but over the last three years we really connected a lot of our own equipment. We worked with partners and customers together to develop the ecosystem and now it's really about the time to learn about how analytics can help, how machine learning can support us. It's really about improving everything we have today. We we can integrate old plants into MindSphere. We can work on the new stuff. So it's whatever you want, you can do it. Well, let's have a look into our customers sitting here. Does anybody have problems with a running operation, running system, running machine? And you would like to know how you can solve a problem? No? Well, you all use Siemens so. technology. <laughs> there are no problems. Our systems are running smooth and they are ideally connected to whatever it needs. Well, Sebastian, how many partners do we have up there? It's nine. I think it's nine customers. And uh, I think in total, we have like 14 customers and partners up in the Mindset Lounge. Partners who connect with us and help us or exactly. bring new ideas, new perspectives into our brain cells? I think that's a really important point here because um, an ecosystem like MindSphere is not made by Siemens for Siemens and our customers only. An ecosystem is designed to be open. We want to work with partners. We want to work with the customers. It's their platform. We just provide the infrastructure. We provide our know-how. We help the customers to find their journey into the, digital, into the digitalization. We have the right solutions and together with our partners, we build this ecosystem where everyone can contribute. And furthermore to this, we are opening up now to the developer community. So we're even getting closer to people who have genius ideas, who can revolutionize the world, but are maybe just a small startup or a tech company that has a you know huge impact on the market just by implementing one small piece of software into our machinery. And it's not that we don't have developers who are capable of doing this, but it's just always good to have some new ideas, bring new perspectives, maybe also some experience from other fields and verticals. Exactly, and this is just the idea of the world coming together in the ecosystem itself. Well, that sounds like a really nice Siemens project and you have been on the road quite a lot. Like Web Summit is one of the key points where you met a lot exactly. of Exactly. So developers. we've been to Web Summit, we've been to Barcelona for the Gardner IT Expo. So there's plenty of great events out there. Uh, I think in about two weeks time is Slush. This is the world's largest developer and startup community event with more than 80,000 participants just talking about IoT. So there's a lot of great stuff going on and we will be there too. SPS is just, let's say, another event where we talk really more about the OT part of the ecosystem, so the operational technology part, but we're open for any kind of discussion and we want to get closer and closer to these genius minds out there helping us in growing the industrial IoT.